Welcome back to Upfront and the second part of my extended interview with Republican Senator Ron Johnson. Uh, Senator, let's talk about the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, uh, trade deal. Um, President Obama's pushing it, uh, but right now you see a lot of political candidates running from it. They want nothing to do with it. They're very critical of it. Uh, Russ Feingold says Ron Johnson hasn't said what he thinks of this deal. Are you prepared to say what you think of the deal? Because I'm actually doing the hard work going through the thoughtful consideration by reaching out and listening. You know, Senator Feingold made a snap decision by reading about a 60-page version of it on WikiLeaks. This bill is over 6,000 pages long. It affects very complicated, very complex industries and agriculture interests. So I'm actually reaching out to those groups, at getting their input in terms of how a very complex, very large uh, trade deal would affect their particular business. So I'll continue to do that thoughtful work uh, right until I'm, I'm going to vote on it. Right now, it doesn't even sound like TPP will come for a vote. Uh, President Obama is not pushing very hard for it, truthfully. Yeah, Donald Trump in the uh, last debate was very critical of it. Does that, does that make it for an awkward moment? Uh, you know, he's very critical and no, you're listen, still listen, thinking I'm, about it? I'm happy to have a new president negotiate a better deal. I, I, I don't necessarily trust President Obama to negotiate real good deals. Look at the Iranian agreement. So, you know, listen. I'm, I'm all for very fair trade, and I'm, you know, happy, I'm happy to admit that a lot of these trade deals have not worked out all that well, and we've been taken advantage of. So you know, let's make sure that whatever trade deal we do enter into is going to be fair trade, but it's also important to keep overseas markets available to our products. So, you know, Wisconsin's imports equal our exports. We, we've kind of got a, a, a zero uh, balance of trade. And so it's extremely important for ag culture, for manufacturing, to keep those overseas markets. I don't, I don't want to you know, start uh, developing uh, protectionism here in this country. We've got to guard against that, but we absolutely have to insist on fair trade. On Friday, you were asked by reporters, I think, over in Madison uh, about this election and whether the Russians were trying to somehow affect the outcome of that election. I think you said there is evidence to suggest that. Oh, is that correct? Absolutely. And, and they're doing that not only in America, but they're doing it throughout Eastern Europe. Uh, they're trying to destabilize. They're trying to provide dis, uh, disinformation to really rob elections of legitimacy. They, they want people to, to think there's, there is no truth, that they're, you know, so that they can spread lies. So, no, the Russians are being very bad actors, but they're being bad actors because America has shown such weakness under this presidency. Uh, it's, it's a very sad state of affairs. You don't think they're going to be able to affect the outcome? Is that your they best? Won't, they uh, won't be able to affect the outcome. Their, their aim is to try and delegitimize, to put enough doubt in the American public's minds that you know, no matter what the, the result of the election, that you know, some people say, well, that's just not a legitimate result. Uh, I, don't think, I really don't think they can actually affect the, the election. But you know, listen, we, we always have to be concerned about cybersecurity and, and, and cyber attacks, and the Russians are really good at it. Okay. Senator Ron Johnson, he is the Republican of businessman from Oshkosh. Good to have you back on the program. We appreciate your Good time. Good to be here. Our editorial partner, wispolitics.com, will keep you up to date this election season on important state races. You'll find the latest on the election blog at wispolitics.com. Coming up next, state Democratic lawmakers calling for an investigation of Governor Walker, why they say he may have violated campaign and ethics laws. And remember, for political news and information throughout the week, follow me at Mike Goucher on Twitter.